Hello and welcome to another screencast from Ycouch. I'm Hathi and today I'll be talking about Materialize.css. It is a modern CSS framework that allows you to quickly create beautiful websites that conform to Google's material design specification. Material design, as you might already know, is the most popular design these days. So let's start now. I'll be using the brackets editor for this screencast. Uh, you're already seeing the brackets editor right now. Uh, it is a free editor built by Adobe. Brackets has a feature called uh, Live Preview that allows me to view all the changes I make in my HTML files immediately. Let me activate Live Preview. It fires off a new instance of the Chrome browser, which will display uh, your HTML content live. Okay, back to brackets now. Let me create a blank HTML page. Uh, of course, don't forget to add the HTML5 doc type. Now I'll add a head and a body to this page. In the head section, you have to include materializers, style sheets, and scripts. You don't need to have these on your computer. You can get them from a CDN called uh, cdnjs.com. But for now, let's just create uh, placeholders for. Uh, a style sheet and a script. So that's that'll be a link tag and a script tag. Now open a browser and uh, search for CDNJS. Visit cdnjs.com and uh, search for materializer CSS now. Uh, these are the files that are associated with materialize. Let's first use the style sheet. Then get the JavaScript. You will also have to add jQuery because materialize uh, depends on it. Let's add a script tag for that. Uh, go back to CDNJS and search for jQuery. So I'll use this. Um, don't forget to add uh, the protocol if you are running it uh, locally. Okay, back to the page now. So your framework is uh, now available on the page uh, and you can start using Materialize right away. Believe me, if you are familiar with Twitter Bootstrap, learning Materialize will be a uh, walk in the pack. Uh, let me show you how to add a navigation bar. Just use the nav, nav tag and you will have a nav bar on your page. To add content to the navbar, you should add a, a navbar wrapper and container uh, div. So now that the div is available, let me add a brand logo to it. That is, uh, that will have the class brand logo. As you can see, um, The brand logo is now looking good on the page already. You can add links to the navbar. Just create an unordered list. Um, I'll create uh, three links now. One for home and another for say products. And yet another for say contact us. As you can see, they are overlapping the logo. To push them to the right, you can uh, make use of uh, a CSS helper class called uh, right. And everything looks good now. And now uh, I'll be showing you how to use the grid. Just like Bootstrap, uh, materialize as uh, rows and columns. A row can contain a maximum of uh, uh, 12 columns. 
Now let me create uh, uh, three columns that contain cards. So for that I would be creating uh, columns that are uh, four cells wide. So I will have a column here, a column here, and a column here. So let me go back to brackets and start first. We create a container div and then a row div, then a column div, uh, which uh, is uh, four cells wide on large screens. That is specified using the L4 class. And finally, we create a card using the card panel class. And you can already see the card. For the sake of demonstration, let me just add uh, lorem ipsum to this card. I can get it from Wikipedia. So let me copy and uh, paste the text. Oh, that's what it looks like. Uh, let me just copy this and create uh, two more columns. Yeah, we already have a good looking page now. Now, um, let me add a footer. Uh, to add a footer, you should use the footer tag along with the page footer class. So that's what it looks like. Um, now to add a copyright line, you can make use of the footer copyright class. <coughs> and here, let me just write copyright, the symbol and, and say all rights reserved. that we have a good page now so what's what's what else remains as you can see this is a responsive page and uh, all the columns stretch and shrink and do everything a reactive page does as necessary now materialize has classes that allow you to color your ui elements for example, I can make the navbar blue using the blue class. I can lighten it using the lighten one. I can lighten it more using the lighten two. I could also darken it similarly, darken one and darken two. So I will use the blue darken two class. That's what it looks like if you can see it in the browser. I'll do the same for the footer. Now, this looks much better to me. Uh, the copyright is not aligned with the rest of the contents because it is not inside a container div. So let me change that quickly. So, this completes it. The copyright is in the right place. Everything is aligned correctly and the page looks quite ready. <laughs> Let me add a few colors to the panel now. Um, adding a color to a panel is just like adding it to anything else. Um, let me add a pink color to the panel. Now the text doesn't look so good, so I want to make it white. To do so, you should type in white, followed by the word text. This um, this looks so uh, much better. So our page is ready, and in less than ten minutes.